Well, tonight, Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett is getting ready for a primary fight after announcing plans to run for re-election next year. Our Emily Longnecker digs into this race and what each candidate is bringing to the ballot. I'm not here tonight to talk about yesterday. All I can see as I stand here tonight is tomorrow. And in that tomorrow, Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett will be seeking a third and final term as the city's mayor. I'm here to talk about the next four years. Because that Indianapolis, the one that I can see, the one that we all can see, it was within our grasp three years ago. And I believe it's closer than ever today. And I want to get there. Inside the city's historic city market, Mayor Hogsett told his supporters the city was on track to see billions more in investments to downtown. You like Gamebridge Fieldhouse? The field house of the future? Well, just wait until you see our Indiana Convention Center expansion. New development next to old city hall, it's on its way. The mayor pointed to a decrease this year in homicides and non-fatal shootings, touting his administration's three-year $150 million violence reduction plan with money for more police officers, funding for grassroots anti-violence programs, and a team of civilians and clinicians to respond to substance abuse and mental health crisis calls. And I think that's the biggest challenge with crime as an issue is that perception really does rule over facts, figures, and actual information. University of Indianapolis political science professor Laura Wilson says Mayor Hogsett, who will face Democratic State Representative Robin Shackelford in the May primary, enters into the race with the advantage of a large campaign war chest, name recognition, and a list of what he's done while in office. I think the advantages Shackelford brings is being a new face to local government. She's obviously served in the state legislature for some time, um, and she represents the east side, so she can talk a little bit about what she's done for a portion of Indianapolis. Her argument for voters is going to have to be that we need something different and that she is that different perspective they want. A perspective that for right now has Marion County Democrats divided in their support. Exactly what you expect to see in a primary. It's healthy to have competition. And it's great because it ultimately should stimulate voters and get them engaged and, and more informed, more excited about the election. So, Emily, any word from Representative uh, Shackelford on this announcement? Yeah, tonight? we heard from her in just the last few hours. She released a statement saying, in part, I welcome the exchange of ideas that the coming months of the campaign will bring. As I said when I announced my candidacy, I am running for mayor because I am the right person to address the issues facing Indianapolis that have not been solved in the past eight years. It's going to be an interesting primary Boy, battle for be, both of these candidates. Yes, come May. It's right. going to be interesting. All right, Emily, thanks so much.